Some say Chinese is one of the most difficult languages in the world, and learning it is almost impossible. So learning Chinese, the most difficult thing. Very strong, very strong, very strong, very strong, very strong. So I'm sort of tone deaf. I can't really hear them. I think the cultural mindset is the biggest complication for the us. The grammar. It's just complicated. So much. Only because you're not learning it in the right way. Why not try Take Away Chinese, where you can take some Chinese away and experience progress day by day. Take away Chinese. We will promise you a difference. Welcome to Take Away Chinese. I'm Niu Honglin with Tony Reed in the studio. Hi, Tony. Niu Niu, what is happening? It's a pleasure to be here as usual. It's great to have you here as usual. And just recently, I decided that I should know more about you. We should, you know. Be closer. Okay. Since yeah, our professional relationship was already very advanced. <laughs> it's so expired, I, huh? <laughs> Gotta move so, on. So I want to. No, 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 no. On the quite on the contrary, <laughs> I want to know more about Tony. So I'm gonna ask you all these random questions about your life and sure. personality. Sure. Shoot. So today's random question actually is: Do you watch any short, fun, and even you know silly videos online? Uh, yes, I do. What are these videos? Uh, the ones that I watch are lar largely about uh, fitness. I like fitness. I watch, watch so people, people work out. Yeah, or people tell you how to work out. Or they, I just watch them work out, and I, they motivate me to to work out. And sometimes I'll see like Mike Tyson punching someone and knocking them out, and it's like, oh wow, that's that sounds cool. fun. Yeah, and then uh, cooking videos. Oh, cooking videos! I like cooking yeah. videos myself as well. And of course, interviews. It but that's a little bit more serious. Wow, you are a serious dude. I mean. All these videos. You don't watch any silly videos.、Uh, to me, some of those, the ones that I just listed, were kind of silly. But outside of that, I guess not. Yeah, but for me, I watch. I feel、lovely. like my IQ is diminishing the more I watch <laughs> those little ridiculous. No, if, if you watch, for example, kids playing with cats and dogs,、no、where these tiny, tiny kitten trying to jump onto the table and fail and fell、that's、onto、you. the carpet. That's, that's definitely they're、you. not、that's、hurting、Owen. themselves, but they're super adorable. The fuzzy, cute. Animals. You know, there is one video. Actually, there's quite a few. I wouldn't call it silly though. Like where there's like this person from.、Uh, he's called a sheik. A sheik. And he has like lions for pets, and they're like just all over him. It's not cute. It's scary. Yeah, that's like twice his size, but somehow they haven't attacked him yet. So. Yeah. Yeah, that is a weird, we <laughs> weird kind of. Hobby, yeah, but I but、so. I kind of get it, and、um, also another kind of video I like to watch is I don't think they're silly, but they're quite useful to me.、Mm -hmm. The kind of video that I watch before I purchase something. Okay, I will search online, for example, if I'm buying a certain kind of cosmetic product or、okay. a electric equipment. I want to search online and see how it works for people who have already got them. Okay. And、uh, maybe they have some tricks in applying shadow or eyeshadow, and those are the kind of videos that I deem useful and fun to watch. So kind of like video reviews, but in a video form. Yeah, kind of like reviews.、Okay. In the meantime, when I am drawn in the world of these kind of, I've bought something and allow me to show you whether or not they work for me kind of videos.、Mm -hmm. I would also see some unboxing videos. Okay. I don't look for them on purpose, but sometimes I feel like when I am actually watching them, it's hard to stop. Okay, unboxing.、There、unboxing something new and fun. All right. So, have you ever watched any unboxing videos? I can't say that I have. I'm I'm not interested in presents that people buy for themselves. Ooh,、yeah. how about we talk about it today? And after the recording, you can go and watch a unboxing video, which in Chinese would be 开箱视频 What is it? 开箱视频视频 So 视频 would be video,、mm -hmm. and 开 is to open.、Mm -hmm. 箱 is a box. Okay. So, 开箱视频 open box video unboxing video. 
Sounds good. And that for our dear listeners, if you're interested in Chinese culture and you want to get a grip on the Chinese language, then this is the show for you. Stick with us for thirty minutes, and you soon see the real words. And for more fun Chinese learning, follow our Facebook page, Learn Chinese, to watch many fun videos. Maybe not unboxing videos, but really fun videos and live streams. But now let's provide you with some free Chinese for takeaway. 我的快递终于到了。你买了什么？快打开看看。我买了两条短裙、三件衬衫和五条裤子。怎么买那么多？因为。我打算录一个开箱视频，测评这些衣服。开箱视频现在非常流行，期待你条理清晰、客观公正、展示到位的视频作品呀！ Yeah, this is a phenomenon that I'm not familiar with. I'm, I'm not a big <laughs> shopper, so this is,、uh, yeah, kind of a、uh, a new concept for me. But it's not only about shopping. It's about watching people opening their presents, lit up their faces, and being very happy. And I, I always find that really assuring. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Christmas comes one time a year, and I don't even celebrate that. So. <laughs> Tony, you are living a too serious life. Call me the Grinch. Seriously,、mm, no, no, no. It's not about that. It's about <laughs> you being too serious about everything. But that's the thing I learned about you today. Yes. All right. So let's be very serious with the language points then. All right. 我的快递终于到了。And this is my parcels are, or my parcel is finally here. Yes, actually, in the Chinese sentence, it doesn't really specify whether or not it's singular or plural. Right. But we can judge by the context. Like I said, Chinese is a high context language,、mm. and you need to read it between the lines all the time. And here,、uh, it's parcels. But I think it's easy in a certain way. That is, you do not have to specify whether or not it's singular or plural. Yeah, in a way, in English, it's kind. Of, you kind of need to.、Uh-huh, sometimes it can be important, but sometimes <laughs>、yes. not. Uh, so yeah, wada is my kwaidi,、mm-hmm. and this is like my favorite word because I always get kwaidis. <laughs> this is like express or packages.、Right? Yes, actually, kwai is fast, di is delivery.、Mm-hmm. So fast delivery would be your packages. All right,、mm-hmm. and then zhongyu. Yeah, zhongyu. This is、um, finally. Finally,、right? and then 到了 means arrive. Arrive. You can use 终于 to show that you are anxious about this thing that is happening,、mm-hmm. or you are complaining a little bit because it happened too late. So、mm-hmm. you can say, 我终于要吃饭了 I'm finally eating. It shows that ah, I I enjoy this very much. Or 你终于来了 You are finally here, and you know, complaining、mm-hmm. a little bit. Got it. Got it. 你买了什么？快打开看看。And that is, what did you buy? Quickly open it so I can see.、Mm-hmm. So, 你买 that means you, you. and then 买了 this is bought. bought. Yes. And then 什么 this is、uh, what. What.、Uh-huh. And then 快 this is like quickly. Quickly.、Yeah? And then 打开打开打开、mm-hmm. This is、uh, open. Open, very easy. And then kan kan is look look. <laughs> look look. I think it's a really easy peasy sentence.、Mm. You bought what? Quick, open, look look.、Mm. Really easy. <laughs> 我买了两条短裙、三件衬衫和五条裤子 And this is I bought two skirts, three shirts, and five pairs of pants.、Mm-hmm, a lot of stuff. So 我买了 I bought. I bought. 两条，两条 ，and this is what two、uh, skirts. <laughs> Actually, 条 here is, is the the quantity. The quantity、right? word. Okay, so two of something, and then 短
裙，短裙。This is a skirt. Skirt. Actually, we know in English you have skirt, which is the one you wear from down from your waist. Right. And we have dress. That is the one piece. It covers the body pretty much. Yes. Right. So in English, if you say a short dress, you're referring to the dress that is a little bit shorter,、mm -hmm. maybe up. Your knee or something,、mm -hmm. and if we are talking about long skirt, it means the long skirt that can cover, perhaps, I don't know, goes down to your ankle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But actually, in Chinese, we would use a general word, 裙子裙子裙子 Yes, to say both things. So as long as it does not include a pant leg, we would call it 裙 It's just when we say 短裙、mm -hmm. literally short 裙 We refer to skirt, and when we say 长裙 long 裙 we refer to dress.、Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Okay. 两条短裙，三件衬衫。三件衬衫。Uh -huh. So 三 is three, and then I think 件 here must be another, another quantity, quantity word. word.、Okay. Yes. And then there's a <laughs> chanshan. This is a shirts, right? A shirt, yes. And also a t-shirt in Chinese would be a t-shu shan. T shu shan, yes, which include the English letter T literally in it. Okay. Uh huh. So chen shan is a shirt. And then he is and.、Mm -hmm. And then wu tiao. So wu is five. Tiao is a quantity word. And then ku zi. Ku zi. Ku zi. Yes. And this is pants. Pants. Yes. So I bought two long skirts, three pants, and five shirts. How do you buy so many? So this is. Why did you order so much? So this is. Why did you order so much?、Mm. So, how? This is like how come? How come or why?、Uh -huh. And then, my this is by. Uh huh. Na na ma. Na ma. So this I think is like、uh, that. That. That many. That. Okay.、Uh -huh. Got it. 多 And 多 is like a lot. A lot. 怎么买那么多 How come you bought so many? 因为我打算录一个开箱视频，测评这些衣服。This is because I want to do an unboxing video. <laughs> yeah. Then try them on. Uh huh. So in way, this is because 我 I 打算打算 This is plan, like plan. I, yeah, something that you plan to do. And then 录录录 And this is record.、L、record. The Chinese word "lu" can be used as to record something, or to document something, or to shoot something. So if you're 记录记录 you're basically writing things down.、Mm -hmm. So you're document this. And、uh, 录音 would be record a piece of sound. 录音 record in terms of keeping a sound in a certain gadget. And 录像 Xiang is video or image, so Lu Xiang would be shooting a video. So Lu is basically record with any kind of means. Okay. So I'm going to record a video. Record a video. Uh huh. And 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 record a video. Uh Drive it, and also you can take a test. So, 参加测试 or 参加测验 that would be join or attend a certain test. Take the test, and 评 is 评价评价 review 评论 to give comments about. And this is a very common one here in the era of e-commerce. 好评 a good review. So、oh, right. they will ask you to give them a five-star good review. 请给我们好评 Please give us good review. And I have to say that to our dear listeners out there, if you like takeaway Chinese, please give us good <laughs> review. 给我们好评哦 See, very useful word. I knew that's where you're going. With that. <laughs> so yes, 测评 would be test and review. So 测评这些衣服
遮鞋衣服。遮鞋 is、uh, these,、uh -huh. and then 衣服 is clothes. Clothes. So 测评这些衣服 would be I would test and reveal these clothes in my video. All right. 开箱视频现在非常流行。This is unboxing videos are very popular. Yeah. So 开箱 So this is unboxing. Shiping is videos,、uh -huh. right? Xian Tai. This is now. Fei Chang is very. Liu Xing is popular. Yeah, 开箱视频现在非常流行 very popular. 期待你条理清晰、客观公正、展示到位的视频作品呀 ！And that is、I'm、looking forward to watching your video. I'm sure it will be logical, objective, and spot on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, 期待。期待。Chi dai. This is like、uh, looking forward, looking anticipating forward. something. Anticipating,、right? yes. So, 期待你的到来 Looking forward to your coming. 期待 So you can look forward、oh. to a lot of things, and、nice. you can 期待见面 Look forward to meeting. So when you're using the word 期待 you can add a word after it. The things that you look forward to. Yeah. Or you can add a sentence again. The things that you look forward to. So 期待 Ni, that's you or yours. 条理清晰 that's the idiom here. Can you guess what it means? 条理条理清晰 Ah,、uh, so 条理 is like a arrangement. Uh huh. And then 清晰 this is like um like clear. Clear. So 条理清晰 actually means that when you're listing your points, you're making them very logical and very clear. So,、uh, for example, I bought five shirts, and this one is my favorite, and this one is my least favorite, and I have five reasons. I'll give you one, two, three, four. So when people are doing a video, that is something that's quite important, making your points clear. 条理清晰 and we use the Chinese expression 条理清晰 to describe that kind of situation. 条理清晰 If you、oh, so this is an expression. Yes. So if you want to describe an article, you can use 条理清晰 to show that ah they're making really good points. And for person, actually, this word applies as well. You can use 条理清晰 to describe someone who's got a really clear head. 她是一个条理清晰的人 She is a very logical, clear-headed person. Oh, I think 你是一个条理清晰的人 Tony. You are that kind of person. You would have the things that you want to do on your little notebook one, two, three, four, five, and you would check the ones you finished.、Right. That is 条理清晰 Okay, 条理清晰 Yes, 客观公正客观公正 So、uh -huh. this is objective,、uh -huh. and then 公正 is like. Fair, fair and just. 客观 is objective. 主观 is subjective. Here, the character 客 actually you can understand it as a guest.、Okay. And 观观察 would be to watch. So 客观 would be watching the thing from the view of a guest. So if you're a guest, it means that you're not involved in the whole situation. You're not. I don't know. Side with any parties, which means you can understand the whole situation objectively.、Mm -hmm. That is why 客观客观 objective. Whereas 主 carries the meaning of a host. So if you're a host of the situation, then it's hard for you to be objective. But you are being maybe a little bit subjective. That is why 主观 is subjective in Chinese.、Mm. And 公正公 is public. 正 would be straight or. Upright, so 公正 together is fair and just. 客观公正 means that you're judging things from a very objective and very fair and just kind of manner. 客观公正 Alright. Also, something very important when you're judging different products that you bought. Got it. 展示到位展示到位 This is another expression, right? Um, I think it's a set phrase. Yeah, it's not exactly an expression, but the meaning of it is quite obvious here. So, 展示 would be exhibit, exhibit or show.、Uh -huh, right? Show 到位 is like to the point, to the degree.、Okay. So, 展示到位 if you are 
shooting a unboxing video and you only give one shot of this one shirt and stop talking about it, then perhaps you didn't show it to the extent that people would want you to. So 展示到位 would mean that you're showing it to the right kind of degree. Okay. 展示到位 It's not exactly an idiom or a expression like the first two. The first two you see them being used. For a lot of occasions and for both things and person, but 展示到位 is more like just you're showing it right. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, 视频作品视频 we know is video. 视频 is video. Uh huh. 作品 is work. Work. 作品 So that's the conversation. Do you have any other questions? Yeah. At the end, there's a yeah. Is that、ah. like a just a um. Uh, an exclamation, in a way.、Or? In a way, and also in this conversation, you can see that the person is saying, "Ah, unboxing video is very popular. I look forward to your work," and that is like encouraging、yeah. his or her friend who's making the video and saying, "Look forward to it. You should, you know, work harder." Something like that. Okay. All right, that's the conversation. Let's give it a go. Let's do it. My credit card has arrived. 你买了什么？快打开看看。我买了两条短裙、三件衬衫和五条裤子。怎么买那么多？因为我打算录一个开箱视频，视频只写衣服。开箱视频现在非常流行，期待你条理清晰、客观公正、展示到位的视频作品呀。You're listening to Takeaway Chinese with myself, Niu Honglin and Tony. We would love to hear from you. Send us your thoughts via email to learnchinese at cri dot com dot cn. Coming up next, let's talk about what makes a good unboxing video and how come we like them so much. Don't go away, so you will take some Chinese away. Welcome back to Takeaway Chinese. I'm Niu Honglin, joined by Tony. So, Tony, you have never watched a unboxing video. Uh no, not into its entirety. I just like sometimes on YouTube you'll see people doing lots of different oh, things. Oh, that's true. And、uh, I think I might have like grazed over it a little bit, <laughs> but like I hadn't sit and I hadn't sat through and like actually watched someone open something up. But can you guess the reason that people find it very charming and interesting? Because they got nothing else better to do. That's really no, <laughs> so negative. And I, I think I can relate to the really good unboxing videos、mm-hmm. to start with. I think it kind of satisfy a little strange sense of my curiosity, 满足我的好奇心 Okay, curiosity. How do you say that? 好奇心好奇心 So 好 is like like,、mm-hmm. 奇 is strange, and 心 is hard. So the Part of my heart that has a little thing for the things that I have never seen, the strange things that would be curiosity in Chinese. How curious, because you know people buy all kinds of things and they use them in different ways. And I cannot really buy all the product in the world, but at least I can see other people buy them and open them up and you know try them on, see whether or not they are good. Or maybe for people who are not getting a lot of presents that. Feeling of opening something up and getting that brand new product or service feels kind of nice. Oh, totally! Yeah,、Maybe. yeah, yeah. Because you know, toys is a really big genre in the unboxing video world,、mm-hmm. and for kids to open up their presents,、oh, that's and they're super excited, that's and、toxic. they're screaming, and they're so happy, and you see the opening of boxes. See, I wouldn't want my kids seeing lighting、that. up the kids' faces. Then they're gonna be would, like, "Mom,、oh. Dad, you should buy one for me." And it's more of a headache. But that is so cute to watch. You、mm-hmm. see them being super happy, and the happy is so genuine. There is a Chinese word, 共情共情 Yes, 共 means public or shared, and 情 is 情绪 or 情感 emotion. At that exact moment, you can feel the happiness, feel these kids' heart, <laughs> and that's so nice. 共情 You can totally share their emotions and their happiness. Sure. Isn't that Something you want to try? <laughs> I I'm selling unboxing videos to Tony for no good reason. I, know, I don't know、right? why. <laughs> it's just 
I think kids show and express joy in a lot of things. You take them out in a the park, they're going to have joy. If you, you know, play with them, you do lots of different things. You swim with them, they're going to have a joyful expression. Yeah, so but... <laughs> box, unboxing is just buying stuff. And I'm just like, eh, I'm not a gift person. Yeah, I realize You know, there's five that. love languages and giving gifts is not one of mine. Ah. So that's probably why. But you're always very generous in giving gifts to colleagues in the office all the time. Well, that's different. food. It's different. Huh. <laughs> I, mean, I guess food can be a gift. Right? But there's no unwrapping and none of this stuff. It's just like, here, I made this. Eat some. Uh, sharing your love in a... In a different way. Not yeah. boxed way. Right, right, right. <laughs> All right. But still, there is another reason that I find unboxing videos quite charming and in this sense, practical and useful. That is... I think I mentioned it earlier before. That is, if I want to purchase an expensive gadget mm -hmm. or an expensive cosmetic product, I would want to know whether or not the one that I picked is really suitable for me. I don't know if they qualify precisely as unboxing video rather than 测评视频. The one we mentioned, yeah. the test and reveal kind of video. In those videos, they would probably shorten the unboxing process. You don't really see them using a knife to open all the packages. Mm -hmm. Instead, you would see them comparing different products, similar products, but you know, different type and different brands. And they would tell you maybe this one's battery would last longer, but that one's definition is clearer. Mm -hmm. And they would list the pros and cons of, of each product and you can make your choice. So in that sense, I would find all these 测评视频 quite useful. Okay. Yeah, I can see how that would be useful. Sometimes things are advertised a certain way, mm -hmm. like on the commercial or in the magazine or whatever. And when you get it in person, it's a bit different. Mm. So from that standpoint, I could see, I mean, but again, this is mainly for the analytical part, being able to see it. And I think, what is that? 测评视频. Oh, 视频. Uh -huh. 测评视频. Right? And being able to see it and be like, oh, okay, yeah, it looks exactly as advertised and it looks good, it looks nice. It's yes. not too big or it's not too small or this kind of thing. Yes, and in yeah. Chinese internet, there are a lot of internet celebrities, influencers. We call them Wang Hong, Web Red, remember? Yeah. These Web Red, you know, celebrities on the internet would choose different genre. They would be the ones who are really good at putting makeup on, then they would recommend certain techniques and also they would teach their friends followers certain techniques when it comes to putting on makeup and also promote or recommend certain product. And of course, there are other kind of 测评博主, that's what we call them. So 博主 in Chinese would be a blogger. Mm -hmm. And uh, 测评博主 would be the kind of bloggers who would always test and use certain kind of product and give their viewers the test reveal so that they would know what they recommend and what they really don't recommend and mm. yes there are the kind of videos out there in the chinese internet i'm pretty sure around the world that they would publicly blame and shame some products and say oh, yeah. they are bad don't buy them On and YouTube, those those sure. ones are fun as well yeah I, it depends like there's a lot of people who do that for like highly anticipated products for example like people who line up to go and get like a playstation 5 or oh, some yeah. of these big consoles and then they'll talk you know bad about it or <laughs> something like that but it's in a way i kind of feel like it's a humble brag like it's like yeah i got one and you don't and you guys are still waiting for it and it's not really that good blah 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 and most of the comments are people are like well if you don't want it sell it to me huh right? i didn't see it like that yeah yeah humble so brag <laughs> well i guess for me when they say you don't don't buy this thing it's a waste of money and don't do it. I will always understand it as them hating the product so much. Mm, 
for our listeners out there, if anyone has seen or experienced any of these unboxing videos and they find them to be kind of interesting and fun, reach out to us and really share what you have experienced. That way we can maybe possibly talk about it on a later show. Exactly. And if you have seen any really good ones, the ones you want to describe as 条理清晰,客观公正,展示到位的视频, please also let us know. Then that brings us to the end of today's Takeaway Chinese. For more episodes of the show, you can visit our website at radio.cgtn.com and go to the column Podcast. You can also listen to the show and read the script there. Find us wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts, including Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and much more. Just search for Takeaway Chinese. And don't forget to leave your comments, ratings, and questions. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Zaijian. Zaijian.